Uh, we're following some breaking news this hour. SpaceX's Starship rocket suffered what the company is calling a, quote, rapidly unscheduled disassembly, which means to you and me, the launch was a failure. Mm. Short time ago, SpaceX launched the Starship rocket. The hope is that it will eventually take people to the moon and someday even Mars. CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood is at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida following this for us. Bill, thanks for joining us. What uh, happened? Yes, yeah, so tell us what happened. <laughs> well, we're not sure yet what happened, but you know, in the lead up to this launch uh, on SpaceX's webpage, they put a countdown up and they said when it got to zero, excitement guaranteed. Mm. And it certainly was that. Uh, you know, the rocket did take off, which was a major accomplishment. It cleared the tower. It appeared that a few of the 33 first stage engines were not firing. Not clear if that's a malfunction or intentional. Uh, and then just before two minutes into flight, the exhaust plume out of the base of the rocket uh, sort of went asymmetrical. You could tell it was no longer as symmetric as it had been. And a few seconds after that, it started a slow tumble and then exploded. We think the automatic self-destruct system activated. Uh, but, but, you know, we called it a failure at the top of the show. It's, it's really a... Maybe a successful failure is one way to put it. I mean, you know, it's the first flight of a rocket this big, biggest rocket ever built. And the fact that they got it up at all was 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 fairly impressive. They'll learn from this and they'll try again. I, I guess that is how this, this sort of stuff works, so, right? So, but, a... but, but Elon Musk just tweeted, congrats, SpaceX team, on an exciting test launch of the Starship. How Learned a lot tweet that? one minute ago. Oh. At, so it's 10.01. He tweeted that one minute ago. Does he not know? Or is, well, the, is, uh, is but, it what but, Bill is saying? What Bill it, is saying, this oh, is part oh, of the process. Oh, you got to no. lose a few rockets. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Okay, then. But Vlad, Bill, this Vlad, is... uh, Elon is in... Elon is in Mission Control down in Texas. He was there witnessing every bit of this, and he's been encouraging to the team all week. Uh, so, no, I think he was uh, saying congratulations because, you know, he said before launch there was a very good chance that this would not succeed the first time out of the gate. As it turns out, he was right. Uh, so I think he was telling the team great job for the effort. And uh, they'll get a lot of telemetry out of this. And like I said, they'll try again. Yeah, my, my comment about what, whether he knows was tongue in cheek. I, I mean, know, I know, I know. But like, I mean, it's just sort yeah, of like, okay. I but think I, for I people would... who are watching it, when you say it's hard for people to reconcile it didn't work with it was successful, even if it didn't work. Yeah, but, I mean, the, you know, failure, as we know, for most things that are hard to do, the road to success includes a lot of failure. Sure. That's how you get there. Uh, though it's a, it seems like a very expensive yeah. um, Road, uh, how significant is this project? Why is Elon Musk spending so much time and energy and money on this? You know what? Elon says that this rocket is the key to SpaceX's future. You know, the Falcon 9 uh, has pioneered reusable rocket technology. We're all used to seeing that first stage come down for a landing. Uh, but the, the amount of cargo that it can carry is limited. Uh, the Starship, both stages are fully reusable, which will greatly reduce the cost of this system if they can make it work. Uh, now, it's absolutely critical to SpaceX's long-range plans. It's also critical to NASA's. You know, the upper stage of this rocket that we saw launched today, uh, SpaceX is building a variant of that stage for NASA to serve as the Artemis program's lunar lander. It's going to be carrying astronauts down to the surface of the moon in just a couple of years, if all goes well. Uh, it's, it's a big question mark. Can they get there in time? Can they perfect this rocket in time to meet NASA's schedule? But it's an absolutely critical uh, piece of equipment for both NASA and for SpaceX. All right. Bill Harwood, always great to have you breaking it down for us. Thank you.